and welcome back to the MTG Rundown. I am happy. And I'm continuing my stream of identity theft by taking over for Andrew. Yep. Um, so, uh, I, Andrew, I'm sorry. Nick uh, is out dealing with some uh, personal issues, uh, mostly rampant credit card fraud. Um, I mean, it's got, it's really gotten bad. Mm -hmm. um, Got to cut down on your spending, buddy. Yep. Um, but in all seriousness, he's taking care of some pretty heavy stuff right now, so he's going to be out this week. Um, and we are recording this right after um, the uh, Phyrexia All Will Be One pre-release. This is uh, February 6th, I believe. Right, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, yes. I believe. So um, we just continued, uh, we just uh, finished, concluded, is the word I meant to say, all uh, three of, well, all five of our events over the weekend. I actually wasn't there for any of them. Uh, I am mercifully allowed to leave this place before the gremlins descend. Um, well, I was there for one. Um, but uh, how, how did, uh, you were there for most of the night ones, uh, day one. I, I was there for all, well, I was there for all the night ones and half of all the day ones. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how, how did that, uh, how'd that go? Friday night, we probably had our best turnout since I want to say, give or take, like Hour of Devastation, Ixlon, that that time frame. Wow. Uh, 46, 47 players fully signed up, 46 ended up playing in the event. Wow. Uh, most of the judge calls were mercifully reasonable. Sure. Sure. Like, it, it was all, hey, this new card interacts how. Yeah, like, yeah, stuff, like, uh, like whenever I cast a spell, I prefer for later. I'm like, okay, I have all, all is one in play. What happens? I'm like, you're about to do a lot of damage. Yeah, you're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. But, yeah, uh, a lot of questions on like my creature has toxic two, and I'm casting something that gives it toxic one. What happens? Like, it's basically human. It'll have toxic two, toxic ones. So yeah, three it'll, poison. Like, okay. Yeah, it'll do two, and then it'll do an additional one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just a lot of judge. Can you please explain to me how Elishnor works? I'm like, this is actually works. He goes, oh, so I'm just gonna concede this game thanks to my opponent resolved her. I'm not winning this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's. Oh, oh, I don't. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's cool. It's cool. I'll, I'm I'm done. Yeah, I I don't think I've ever seen more mythics on the field than this weekend, where every match I went to I was like, why do you just have like a Jace of Vraska <laughs> and like a nissa in play all at the same time what is going on right now uh, it's just like winning uh -huh. i don't know i just i just cast spells and they seem to be doing all right yeah i don't, I don't know I, th I think the, the kits might have been like weighted or something because I, I, yeah everybody's tools. kits everybody's kits seemed pretty stacked i'm gonna yeah. be real um i know andrew did he was i think he did two or three pre-releases um he he showed me his list for one of them and it was just like he just like every planeswalker he pulled yeah. and then just like other stuff that said win yep and he went three and one just because mm -hmm. like ah your thing is a treasure now is a pretty good ability <laughs> yeah yeah it was uh there was one match friday night where the you know, they came up to hand this up. They go, yeah, I can't believe I pulled down. I'm like, oh, what happened? He goes, well, I was on five life and eight poison for six turns. I'm like, okay. Uh, but I had, what was it, like the blue Dominus that gives the, the oh, yeah. Walkers perforate? Yeah. And a Jace. And I'm like, yeah. so he's like, yeah, I perforated for four turns straight. And then I decked my opponent out in one shot. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. That new Jace is tricky. Yep. That new Jace is, is very tricky. Uh, he's he's not he's not yeah. bad. Yeah. He's definitely no mind sculptor, but he's he's pretty decent. I, I will say, wizards, when you're printing planeswalkers that have like walls of text, please don't give them Phyrexian versions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it was really funny because on on Saturday, Mark was actually here to start the event, mm -hmm. and um, he was like, "The Phyrexian language thing is so stupid. Why do they start doing that just now? You can't even read the card." And I was like, "Mark." This has been a thing for a year and a half, <laughs> like like since call time, and then before that with the judge promo Elish Norn, and he was like, "Oh yeah, yep. I guess it doesn't matter as much as I think it does, huh?" And I'm like, "No, it's yeah. just cool. It's just cool." Yeah, that was the other thing I just got a lot of. Like, hey, judge, I opened this card. I'm like, okay, what does it do? <laughs> like, uh... oh yeah, um, so it's. It's it's a Tolkien-esque novel. Mm -hmm. um, it's very... Uh, I'm just going to print you off what it does, and here you go. <laughs> or it's like, all right, I'm just going to 
type it in here. Here's just the picture on Scryfall. Uh, mm-hmm. Read those abilities. Uh, if you need, I'll just give you a placeholder because I can't be coming back here every round explaining yeah. what what this card does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yeah. hard. Stop. Make it- please, <laughs> please stop. Stop giving cards with bricks of text <laughs> for Hexian versions. At, at least with like the shoulder, it was like okay, very like yeah. When I you draw a card, you, you gain two. two. Yeah. When you draw a card, you lose two. Great. Yeah. And it's like, what is this Jason? I'm like, uh, or actually, no, I think it was Nissa. Where I'm like, oh, oh yeah, what does Nissa yeah. do? So, so here's the thing about that. She's going to make a dude, and then she's going to do something else. I don't remember what it is. And then she's going to buff all your dudes. I don't totally remember by how much. Uh, good luck. Yeah. It's like, I'm just going to give you a five-minute time extension while I go pull another Nissa so you can read what your card's supposed to do. Yeah. But all in all, I, I, I didn't hear anything, like, you know, awful about them. Felt like oh, no. It seemed like everything went pretty like, well. Yeah, we, I, there was a ton of people coming up. They're like, yeah, this is the first previous I've been able to do in years and years. It was a blast. I'm so happy I came out. Or like, man, it was just a great event. Thank you for hosting. Nice. Well, I literally had people, uh, we had a few, we had one gentleman who was apparently in town for work. He's like, yeah, I've been able to pre-release since like, give or take return to Ravnica. So I was just super happy to find a store. Wow. Uh, he ended up playing in both of these Sundays where he was like, yeah, I was a little worried because I know Sundays are probably the the dead day. Mm. He was like, no, we we had, I think it was like 16 for the, the like the noon one and then 14 people for the That's 6 p.m. pretty good yeah. for yeah. Sundays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which uh, I think the last one for uh, Brothers War, we didn't even fire the 6 p.m. because it, everyone was just pre-released out at that point. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. So, um... Another cool thing about these pre-release kits is uh, I didn't know this until literally 20 minutes ago, but apparently it's been happening all pre-release. Um, inside pre-release kits, some of them have a special die with the numbers written in Phyrexian. Now, <clears throat> the issue with this is... It is pretty easy to tell which one it is. So we've got ourselves a sealed pre-release uh, uh, case, and we are going to open it up, and we are going to uh, pick out the one with the Phyrexian die in it, um, and then show you guys what it looks like and how unfortunate it is that it is so easily identifiable. Yeah. Yeah, like they what when they first announced, they're like, yeah, it's gonna be a one in fifteen chance. I was like, okay, cool. So it's one per set of cases. Cool. Yeah. Uh, they neglected to mention that it's got a completely different batch number on it. Yeah. So the issue is right. So we've got all right. We're gonna I'm gonna tilt this for you, right? So like, if you've never seen a case of pre-release kits, this is what it looks like. Um, you know, three rows of five. Pretty mm-hmm. pretty straightforward. Um, the problem is. Let's see my one. Yep. Because we were looking for, do you remember which number it was? 3-1. Three 3-1, one. Three one, thank you. Because yeah, these are all 5-1. Five 3-50-1s. Five 5-1. One. Yeah, 5-1 still. 3-1. This is there it. There we go. So, um, so it, depending on which batch it is, right, it it um, it um does change things. Um, sometimes uh, the normal one is 9-1 and the Phyrexian one is 5-1. And sometimes it's 5-1 and 3-1. But whichever number, whichever one has the odd man out, Right, you can't totally see this. I, I should have turned on the uh, overhead camera for this, um, but uh, this one is the normal one, and this one is the Phyrexian one, and I will prove it to you right now. Nick, you go ahead and open that one, right. and I will open this one. Right, so look yep. identical on the outside, except for that little batch number, but then when you pull them out, your special spin down. That yes. one is Phyrexian. Yep. This one is normal. So, what less scrupulous people have been doing and what less scrupulous stores have been letting people do is just, you can just like literally like paw through a case, pluck the one with the uh, Phyrexian die in it, and then people are attempting to sell them for too much money, even though it's just a fucking spin down. So, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Um, what we are going to do, uh, because, you know, we just want to demonstrate how, uh, may- hey, Wizards of the Coast, maybe don't do this. 
uh, maybe just like actually make it random and not know which mm-hmm. one you can pull so people can't be shitty. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, crack all of these pre-release kits mm-hmm. and use those cards to build our in-store binders um, because um, it's just, you know, it's just not fair to people. Yeah, it, it also... You run into the issue where I'm hearing from other stores where people are going and going, hey, can I see your previous kits? And they just look through all of them and go, oh, you don't have the one with the expensive spin down? I don't want any of them now. Yeah. Which is very yeah. uncool. Um, so, uh, basically, um, don't be shitty. Mm-hmm. And um, Wizards, Yu-Gi-Oh! did this like 15 years ago and it was a bad idea. Come on, dude. Yeah. Like, you should know better. Yeah. You yeah. should know better. If, if anything... Have some poor, probably underpaid worker just pulling stickers off. Because if you need those stickers for batch control to make sure that mix-ups don't happen, just just have someone sitting in the back of like the warehouse pulling the stupid things off so that this doesn't happen. Yeah, or just put a yeah. sticker over it. Yeah, Actually, right. Like yeah. yeah, like it's just it was, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. All right. It, 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 it's always sad when. Uh, they try to do something cool like this, and then someone immediately exploits it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But besides that, the only other big thing we have to talk about is uh, uh, three of our locals went to a Team Legacy event and won the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, no, there, there was a update past that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, if you want to finish. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no. Okay. So just congrats to, to Casey and um, it was Casey and Colin and uh, Cooper. Uh, good. Mm-hmm. Congrats, guys. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Didn't drop a match. Yeah, and then hopefully we can uh, drag Casey into a recorded interview in the near future because this weekend during the re- uh, pre-release, he also went down to the SCG Con in Indy mm. and won the 10K. Wow. Yeah, he, he won a modern 10K with uh, Adnan. Not Adnan, sorry. Uh, Was it a Living End? Yeah, Living End. There, thank you. That's yeah. sweet. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, locals are just kind of killing it yeah. at the moment. Um, so congrats, guys. Yeah, hopefully we'll get them in for an yep. interview sometime soon. Um, I know we're talking about having some other special guests um, on pretty shortly. Um, so I know this week isn't super exciting, but we do have more cool things coming. Mm-hmm. And hopefully um, I can remember to um, uh, get the SEO and um, uh, make the videos not private uh, when they're supposed to be. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm very busy. <laughs> and this uh, isn't exactly my main priority. Um, also, I mean, I, we could definitely abuse SEO for uh, modern 10K winner. Absolutely. Yeah. We could definitely do that. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, mm-hmm. I think that's all for this week. Um, pretty short, pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, don't really have too much yeah. more to say. Mm-hmm. Um but thank you guys for watching. I have been happy. Uh, I I am I'm Andrew, and uh, we are going to see you guys next week.